Hey YouTube, uh, this is David with Richter Scale Studios. You're looking at uh, modular boards I'm working on right now. Uh, this will be a city fight board eventually. I'm just going to take some craft foam and cut it in different angles and put in some maybe some uh, manholes and stuff. And it's two by twos by two inches. And then um, this is my Manufactorum or Forge World, or it could be even a landing base. There's a modular a ba base built into this. This is modular also. This is made with a uh, granny grating, craft foam, and also uh, paper drink coasters from a local uh, restaurant. I think it's a Applebee's or a Chili's or something like that. I got those. And then uh, foam board, landing pad, and there's a couple of her start things in here. And I'm going to show you my old board. I'm revamping to go with this so we can change it around to can have like a, a desert it's gonna be desert themed mostly I think one uh, section will be jungle themed so you can have different themes together like a jungle outside of a city or a desert outside of a city or a manufactorum area or a landing area or military base in a desert or by a jungle so I'll be back in a couple seconds and show you what I'm working on downstairs thanks hey I'm back okay these were the original boards I made probably two years ago um, they're not bad, but the paint job kind of sucks. So, and also the new modular boards are a half inch thicker. So what you're looking at right now, I got, um, these are vacuum pumps on top of a shelving unit to put down even pressure on them. And I have these laying on uh, the half inch foam with the, the original one and a half inch boards with uh, liquid nails. Yeah, over there, Oops, excuse the speed right there heavy duty liquid nails and putting those together. I already have two boards already dried. And then um, when these are all dried, uh, they're gonna be reprimed, uh, possibly resanded. Cause you see when I did some of the gooping on it, I did some cheap like house brushes on it. And you can see there's like a wave. I don't know if it, it looks okay, but I think I might sand part of these and then uh, reprime them and then repaint them again and make them a little more photorealistic. Cause it looks like you can tell there's a black primer underneath then there was like layers of brown then kind of layered up from there and you can see kind of did some of the uh, built-in hills like a volcanic rock look and there's some like little plateaus and things but I'm gonna leave these hills in so they'll be like that and also this board will be technically 12 feet by 4 feet which I don't think I'll ever you know need that but if you ever want to do some kind of giant game my table upstairs should probably can comfortably do 8 feet by 4 feet but that, you know that's a good size table so um that's it for right now. Um, I will come back. This will be part one of the revamp. And then uh, I'll show you how we come along with this. When these are all done and dry, I will take this as like a, a few saw horses with some plywood on it that um, I'll just put some uh, dollar store drop cloth on it and uh, take the paint spray to these things and get them uh, latexed up and start painting them again. Also in a future video, see, I want to start doing canvas play mats. That I could sell and also change around if I want to do Ice Worlds or something like that, like Chung did on um, the uh, War Gamers Consortium. Well, I put these hooks in here, and I have a beam going across my garage. I just picked up some pulleys. So this might, I'm trying to make this into an elevated east, uh, I guess an art easel, so I can like tack on, um, well, I obviously do the you know really large projects on here, obviously, but if I want to, um, do some cool airbrushing on something. I can tack it on this, tilt it any angle I want, and work on it like a like a canvas or a piece of paper up instead of hanging over it and um, just not getting the angles right. So I can just have like a large uh, picture in front of me. So uh, that is it for right now. As usual, thank you for joining me, and I will keep you up to date. Thanks again.